what's up guys Moses here today I'm going to talk about something that people have been complaining about since the moment I've started playing Path of Exile and you know doing well for myself uh, so outside in the past two and a half years let's take out the first three months where it took me to kind of like you know learn the game map sustain right you guys ever had a problem with map sustain um, okay the simple truth is if you have map sustain problem you're simply not playing enough okay I get people asking me about map sustain and telling me that they cannot sustain tier 4 maps these type of people no offense okay we've all been there are just new to the game and they don't understand how the game works and they don't understand what they're doing okay so I'm here to show you uh, what's up currently this is Legion solo self found uh, this character uh, playtime is uh, six days and five hours the league started a week and a half ago so today is like Thursday actually so tomorrow it's gonna be two weeks all right two weeks tomorrow that means 14 days let's make it 13 days that means six days and five hours roughly I played on average about 10 hours a day since the league started which got me to this point just to give you an idea how long how much time I put into the game all right so let's talk about um, the stats currently the character uh, killed everything uh, uber elder obviously shaper <coughs> I killed pale council I got my multi mod crafts um, you know this is my dagger so so found multi mod crafts all the meta crafting uh, uber elder shaper uber at Siri uh, pale council yeah delve depth and that's very important delve depth we are around uh, you know depth 250 um, currently uh, from 240 area level is 83 monster level 83 means that it's the highest monster level you can get meaning you can drop tier 16 maps which tier 16 maps is the highest tier 16 uh, maps are the highest tier you can drop in the game right um, yeah 240 if we look at 200 and you know 22 it's uh, you know 82 235 82 244 83 somewhere around here this is 239 238 is 82 okay so 239 and uh, below is going to be 83 so you want to cruise around uh, and start farming sideways I just got here and I'm starting to farm sideways around the 230 area so that delve drops me uh, tier 16 uh, maps right all right so how do we go about um, how do I go about playing the video game I kill Kitava I get to maps I start doing maps all right uh, this is my map stash tab and again this is solo cell phone see right here solo cell phone Legion there's no one else but me this is my only character currently in Legion two less than two weeks ago the league started and I've been you know I got my uh, saboteur basically a character that is able to clear all the maps and is able to clear all the content right so I picked up saboteur glacial cascade and the character is doing just that um, how you simply complete all the maps that you have all right you start off by tier one all your tier one maps and then all your tier twos and then all your tier threes and then all your tier fours obviously you'll have some holes there is a thing called a three to one vendor recipe where if you vendor three maps uh, let's take a look at armory right here armory is connected to pen wharf and flooded mines that's why I picked up uh, five of them because sometimes different combination of trades uh, this will give you flooded mine if you remove this and put this still flooded mine if you remove this and put this they see it's a pen map so it depends on which maps you're going to end up selling you're going to receive a different result but basically the idea is that if you vendor three tier two maps you're guaranteed to get a tier three map as a return you vendor two tier six you're going to get a tier seven as a return right sometimes these maps are going to be connected the atlas changes every league but the concept remains the same maps always drop and as long as you continue to increase that bonus right here 147 out of 159 basically means that we got 100% from maps 
to always drop at least one tier higher because 147 and every percent above that 100 means that um, we got 47 currently because 147 47 is a chance for maps to roll two tiers higher all right what does that mean if I'm in a tier 7 map all right and the game drops me a map in in the you know in the bracket of a tier 7 map all right um, if I kill the boss, let's say, the boss can drop up to a tier 9 map. Alright, so the game will roll a number between 1 and 9 out of the boss monster. Let's say it did roll map drop. Alright, so 1 to 9. Let's say the game rolls 5 and it is the boss. Um, 5, I got 47, like it's always going to roll 6 and then additional 47% chance to roll uh, 7 because the basic roll is a 5. Alright, so 47% chance, let's say it rolled 7, great. <laughs> Alright, so we killed the boss, uh, we got a map off of the boss plus 2 because of that successful roll. Sometimes a successful roll won't happen, and then instead of uh, a 5 rolling 7, it will end up rolling 6. I hope you follow. That's just basic map rules, but the point is that you don't need to know too much about the Atlas. You just want to increase that map bonus as much as possible. Use uh, all the unique maps that you have. There are several unique maps. If you're looking at the unique maps that I have, I have Melson of Chaos, uh, Death and Taxes, uh, Poor Joy's Asylum, Careblade, Pillars of Oran, that's six, uh, seven, Cards Trial, I got lucky, I got Perendous Manor, SSF, Legion, OP, Incubators, uh, that's 9 I think, that's 10, Olmec Sanctum, that's uh, 11, right? 11. Currently I'm missing uh, Duran's Machinarium and uh, Vinktar Square and uh, Pewter Cloister, so 3 maps I'm missing. But 11 means that I have 11% additional chance that I normally wouldn't have if I didn't do my unique maps. So as soon as you get a unique map, do it all right there's videos there's information about those just complete those so that you could get the map bonus if you're in a trade league buy those in chaos oh yeah i guess vaults of Atsiri. that's another one i didn't count so 12 maps right oh shit there's another one here you get the idea right 10 11 12 13 14 15 percent uh bonus means 15 percent additional chance to get that plus one roll so you want to complete as many maps as you want as you can and then you gotta decide on your Atlas strategy, alright? Basically my Atlas strategy for this league is killing regular Elders. Alright, it hasn't been working out too much in terms of like... Uh, Watcher's Eyes only got the one, it doesn't matter. But I do enjoy killing the Elders, I wanna drop the Elder Guardian's uh, weapons because I'm playing SSF, I need Nebulox, I need... never mind. But that's currently my Atlas strategy because I know what I want from the game. So I'm gonna spawn Elders, I'm gonna kill them. Rinse and repeat while I'm doing this process of killing Shaper maps and, you know, expanding Elder's influence and eventually spawning Elder and eventually killing him, maps will drop. And there will always be more drops than what I can handle because that's how map drops work. Look, I got 42, 60, that's 100, that's 200, that's 320, 420, uh, 550. Uh, there is 700, 850, uh, rolling it up, you know, rounding it up, 900, uh, 1,030, 1,000, you know, 140, uh, 1,240, 1,000, and uh, 360, 400. We're talking about almost 1,500 maps. 1,500 maps altogether dropped, all right? And that's not including the five armories that I used for the demonstration. Okay, so 1,500 maps that I've managed to accumulate outside of the hundreds and thousands of maps that I already did on this character because I'm, I'm grinding constantly, right? So I got surplus of 1,500 maps. If this was a trade league, I would be sitting at around 5,000 chaos off of selling these. But it's not, right? So, you know, currency I have is the currency I have. Um, and if you pay attention here, I haven't as even touched a single cartographer chisel. These are hundreds of chisels, currently around 800 chisels that I have. I haven't even touched them, all right? Val orbs, I haven't even touched those either. Rarely, I val maps. Um, 
sometimes when there's a Nico, I will chisel a map, not on a tier 10. If it's like on a tier 14, tier 13, tier 15, I will chisel a map because uh, sulfite affects the quantity and maps affect sulfite. So I will uh, chisel the maps, I will then val the maps trying to get 8 mod, trying to get unidentified for the, for the bonus, just to get a little bit of additional sulfite, right, out of it. But generally speaking, this is SSF, and I've only been, I haven't been obviously doing the, there's a chisel recipe, it's, don't ever do chisel recipe, um, this is just by picking them up, right, and I just don't use them, tier 16, tier 15, doesn't matter at all to me. When am I going to start using them? When I when I start farming. Right now, what I'm doing basically, so you guys know what I'm doing. Um, I'm basically I get all the maps. I kill, you know, I kill elders. I collect fusing so that I can get a six link. That's kind of like my goal right now. But on the backdrop of all that, I also start building up my tier 16 uh, pool, right? Base and my tier 15 shaped volcano. I shaped it because SSF. I want to farm uh, divination cards for Calm's heart. Um, I already farmed a couple, right? I got two of these and one of that. Uh, so these are from the from the volcano, shaped volcano, working our way towards that. But basically, I'm 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 farming my shaped uh, 15, right? If you look at the 15 maps, tier 15, I got none because I uncompleted them on the atlas. Once they served their purpose, I removed them from my atlas. What was the purpose? The purpose was to kill Uber Elder. Um, and to stack up on a few tier 16 um, Elder Guardian maps, just normal Phoenix, you know, Chimera, Minotaur and all that. As you can see, I have a few of them. Not too many, just like, I don't know. Uh, there's 23 minus 9. So I got, I don't know, a little over a dozen um, of these. So that if I want to run or kill Shaper for some reason, I'll still have some regular tier 16s. But for the most part, uh, I want to start stacking on my Elder Peer, which is my tier 16 choice for this league. Reason why, again, SSF, it drops a uh, divination card for uh, fusing. That's called Lucky Connections. Seven cards, 20 orbs of fusings. I need to six link body armors if I want to succeed and make successful characters. So I need lots and lots of fusings. Uh, so peer, and on top of that, it's a pretty open map. Uh, pretty decent for um, the Legion League mechanic. So for me, it fits perfectly. I decided to go for it. So I made it an Elder Tier 16. Right, um, this is just for this league. If you're looking at uh, Soul Cell Found, um, Soul Cell Found, right now it's standard. Where are you? SF standard. Oh, <laughs> um, where I have my three week racer uh, ended up with, uh, well, they reset the tree, so it's all gone now. But basically, Soul Cell Found in standard, um, this. Uh, character is my you know SSF guardian um, divine ire guardian that I made for the for the for the flashback race of synthesis and I got rank seven again if we're looking if we sum this up I mean there's well over 2,000 2,500 maps over here but obviously we see a whole lot of maps um, so here my strategy was just XP, XP, XP. The best map for XP was Elder Underground. Uh, and I went XP there. And I went Shaped Moon Temple. So <clears throat> that's how I shaped my Atlas. Yeah, when you reset, everything gets reset. So I don't even have any c completion here. I don't know, maybe just unique maps or whatever. That, that's, that's not how my Atlas looked. Obviously it was full, except the Tier 15 um, Moon Temple, because that's all I wanted to drop. And uh, that's why you see I don't have I have very rarely any any regular tier uh, 15. Whenever I needed a tier 15, what I what I did was see I have plenty of plenty and plenty of regular tier 14. I would vendor three to one if let's say uh, Nico decided he spawns on tier 15 that is not my moon temple. If he spawned on tier 15, then I needed you know lava lake. I went and I did lava lake by vendoring three and getting the lava lake. So th when you when you shape your atlas in a way this in, uh, this way, what it means is that you're going to end up with four sextants that you're going to be able to use because you can't use five because you're removing some of the tier 15s uh, legion ssf i'm going to show you on the proper atlas i just wanted you to see because this just happened a few weeks back in it's not something i got lucky with maps that to have you know 1500 maps in ssf legion no it's just a matter of i play a lot 
In Path of Exile, if you, the, the point of the video is really, you can stop watching right now. If you play a lot, you'll have maps. If you don't play a lot, there's no sustaining. The, it's a bullshit word, okay? Everybody's talking about sustain. It's such bullshit. It's all RNG, okay? You kill monsters, shit drops. I never believed in quantity and magic find. I farmed Soul Cell found Headhunter in about 10 days, about a year and a half ago. I did everything in this game without investing in chisels, quantity, voling, all bullshit, guys, all right? Do what I tell you. Get your Atlas Bones completion up. Do the entire content of the game, meaning all your delve, when it comes to delve, I talk about it in a specific delve video, but generally speaking, go down as quick as you can. All right, go down as quick as you can to um, around delve 240 right now, monster level 83. So it will uh, allow you to drop in these uh, cities. It will allow you to drop um, the the highest tier maps, so tier 15, tier 16, because this is a great source of of map income. All right. Outside of that, ignore all the other nodes. Just go straight down in a way that allows you to pick up as many uh, Azerite nodes as you can. Most importantly, Tier 2, Tier 3 Azerite nodes. Just keep going down, down, down. Whenever you see cities, go there because good XP and good loot. Here, for example, I ignored it because, you know, for me to get to here, because everything is like disconnected, I need to get a huge detour, spend tens of thousands of sulfite, maybe... I don't know, 20,000 sulfide to get here, or 15,000 sulfide to go all the way here, so just for one, one single city, monster level 80, I didn't need it, so cut it off, just keep going, I started here going down a little bit sideways, the point is, pick up as much Azerite as you can, so you could upgrade your flare numbers, your uh, light radius, and your flare light radius, and your darkness resist, these are the most important um, uh, stats that you want, you always want to keep um, your... Um, you know, as much as possible. Earlier on, you're not going to have the, the option to do it, right? And this all connects into like one thing. That's why I put some time talking about it. You do want to have your uh, sulfite um, capacity to a reasonable level, which means you go into a map, you're not going to get overcapped just by touching one sulfite node, right? You want to have a lot of sulfite capacity, but you also want to have the darkness resist. You also want to have the light radius you want to have these things capped okay so 75 is cap 150 150 is capped that's why i also kept the ads right for this video especially for this moment exactly you want to get these things capped because once they're capped and you're cruising on uh depth 250 ish or 240 ish just so you could get the a area level 83 all right once they're capped um Basically what it means is you can start cruising sideways and all your Azerite can go into your capacity to max it out at 60,000 I believe and then max it your flares so you could pick up all the, you know, um, uh, resonators and fossils. I got uh, several tabs of resonators fossils here that I use for my own crafting as well, um, SSF um, and, and um, you know, the, the duration all the other stuff that you need okay and once you're capped on everything that's when you can start just shopping for use your azurite to buy you know resonators and whatnot if you need them but the point is delve is generally a source for your uh map drops level 83 map drops all right so don't focus too much on uh the side nodes they're usually garbage if there is a you know currency node and it's nearby and it's like if it was here go there but mostly even those nodes are not going to be uh worth worth doing all right generally you just want to go down until you hit 240 250 260 and then you just cruise sideways left or right explore all around look for these cities gather the um gather the maps that's what it's all about all right so generally what i did i filled up the atlas uh, sometimes i had holes um Okay, if you have holes in your atlas, like, you know, you just, let's say, you won't get cells. It won't drop, all right? If you look, cells can drop off of Conservatory, Promenade, uh, Jungle Valley, right? Three maps. Don't start running Jungle Valley in hopes of getting it. No, move on, all right? If, if, if cells is your only tier 6 left, right? There's multiple tier 6. If cells is really your only tier 6 left, 
forget about it. Just go into your tier 7s, start completing those. What will happen as you go along is that you're going to start accumulating some jungle valleys are going to drop and you finished your tier 5s ages ago. Like you're not going to go back start farming tier 5s, right? You want to progress, right? So what you're going to do is you're simply going to start, you know, working on your tier 7s. You got a hole on the tier 7, no problem. Zana's Quest may give you one. All right, Zana's Quest is always going to give you all maps, like one of each, um, you know, tier 2, 3, until 10, right? Zana's Quest always gives you those, so keep those until you're sure that there's no other way for you to get it, like vendoring 3 to 1, or, you know, maybe even use some Horizon Orbs, right? Generally speaking, you want to keep the Horizon Orbs for the red maps. Don't use Horizon Orbs unless, like, you really, really have to. There's, like, something that you need on that particular map, like, I don't know. Nico or something like that um, usually you want to keep your horizon orbs for the red maps because red maps there's much fewer red maps for example if you look at tier 6 maps you see there's like I don't know that's 3 that's 7 that's 11 tier 6 maps right 11 tier 7 uh, 12 right 13 what is it this is a lot um, 12 uh, tier uh, 8 Again, if you look at tier 14, all of a sudden, wow, there's not too many, right? So if you're using a horizon orb on a tier 7 map, your chances, or on a tier 8, your chances to get the one that you need, oh no, this is a shape, never mind. Uh, so, you know, th th your chances of getting the one that you need are much lower than if you're using a horizon on a tier 15, or on a tier 14. This is why horizon orbs are better used for uh, red maps. You know, when you're using them on red maps, uh, your chance of getting uh, the map that you want are substantially higher simply by the fact that you don't have that many in the potential pool, right? So use your Horizon Orbs if you absolutely have to. Now they're much more common. They're not only Harbinger item drop, they will drop on occasion. And also, right now I don't have it on my Atlas, but there are Shaper Strongholds. Every once in a while you'll see a map that will have this round circle around it. Go kill that map. It will guarantee you a unique tiny tiny chance of a legacy unique legacy is one that cannot drop in the current league but sometime from the past like you know legacy uh unique tiny 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 chance usually won't happen but what it will guarantee to drop for you chisels uh sextants and sometimes horizons right so every time you see a shaper stronghold you must do this map okay not only in soul soul found also in trade because this is how you you know this is how i got hundreds uh, like 250 total sextants here ish right and again SSF I haven't started using these of course I'm going to use the chisels of course I'm going to use the, ch the sextants but this is just my starting character I want to gather up all this type of currency so I could juice up maps for characters where it does matter to me this character doesn't matter all that much as nice as it is it doesn't even have a six link doesn't even have a unique I wish it was a bit better it's not SSF but um, I am gathering all this currency I'm gathering it uh, from, from you know, doing stuff like Shaper Strongholds because I want eventually to juice up maps that are important to me, right? Fragments. I'm not going to use my fragments. Um, generally, uh, you know, um, scarabs. I am using some sulfite scarabs because I do want to work things up with delves. So uh, I do want to get breaches uh, going. I do want, you know, so whenever I do get those things, I am using them with this character. But, you know, the, the map quality and juicing up, like uh, uh, fragments, uh, like chisels, I'm, I'm just saving them for now. If I see a tier 16 spawn of, you know, Nico, sure, I'll, chill, I'll chisel, you know, to the max. Uh, I'll even try and Val, I'll even add a couple of fragments for, you know, increasing the quantity. If I'm using a sulfite, I'm going all the way because sulfite allows us, you know, to have a more multiplier. Uh, for, with the scarabs, but those are pretty rare because how many sulfite scarabs do you even get? Once every couple of days, every few days, when you're, um, when you're, uh, come here, actually pretty soon over here, we're gonna have two sulfite poly, uh, you know, uh, gilded sulfite scarabs. Yeah, you always want to make sure that your intervention um, is like fully juiced up. This is another thing, I, like I, I mentioned before. All right, there's like, you don't need to do too much. All right, you don't need to invest too much. Alk and go, alk and go, alk and go. Use alchemy orbs and go. When it comes to somebody asking me sustaining alchemy orbs, I mean, SSF boys. Also, if you did not know, when you go to the vendor, uh, you can buy alchemy orbs with regrets. 
regrets are normally not used. I generally recommend not to use regrets ever. Like never respec an entire character. Just create a new character, level up. It's going to take a couple of hours. You're going to move on. You'll have a new build. Don't use the regrets. You can buy alchemy orbs one for one at the vendor. You can buy fuse, uh, You can buy uh, scouring orbs with chance orbs four to one. All right, four to one. That's the ratio. <coughs> so four chances you can get one scour. You can buy you know uh, um, um, chances for fusing. That's a terrible ratio, one to one. Right, but those things are available at the store. There's a vendor you can go and you can check those things out. If you sometimes need, you know, chances, scours, all that kind of stuff, you can buy those things. Uh, of course, the basic ratios, uh, jewelers, orbs, you can get those for alterations, fusings, you can get for jewelers, chromatics, you cannot buy or trade with, silver coins, val orbs, those uh, chaos orbs, you, these, no, you cannot. There's no ratio in the trade. But if you're running out of alchemy, it just means you're not picking up enough items, right? That just means that you're not picking up enough items. Pick up items, vendor your items, pick up every single unique and vendor the uniques. Uniques are trash, but they give us alchemy shards. With alchemy shards, we get alchemies. With alchemies, we can alk our maps. Sometimes if you feel like it, you can volume your maps. Maybe it turns unidentified, you get a little bit of quantity bonus. I do it every once in a while because you just stack up on all these val orbs. Uh, but a lot of times it's a risk. Um, <clears throat> because the map can turn into some kind of monstrous <clears throat> beast that you cannot even contain, right? So all sorts of multiple damage um, sources and reduced flash charges and less recovery and all this kind of nasty stuff, and then you can't even barely do this map. But, yeah, you don't have to. Something you could. I really recommend against it, though, um, because there's really no reason. Like I said, this is my map stash tab. All I do is map. Alright, I kill elders, I try and get Watcher's Eyes, I, I try to get the unique loot off of elders and off of his guardian. Guardians. Um, and uh, that's basically it. As you do those things, lower tier maps drop. You could then, if you're in trade lead, sell these low tier maps. Like, again, if these hundreds of maps were roughly, like, fairly new to the league, right? F first two weeks of the league, maps like these will sell for thousands of chaos. <clears throat> all together, like tier 11, 12, 13, all those things that I'm not using right now. Normally in a trade league, I wouldn't keep more than two, maybe three copies of all my red tier maps. Right? And if I'm talking about um, tier 9, tier 10, I'm not even using those ever. So I'm not going to need any of those. Maybe rarely, so I'll keep like one, maybe two copies of each map. Right? Because like Academy. I got 21 freaking Academy maps. These could probably sell for like one chaos, right? So that's 20 chaos if you're trading. Like again, currently not trading, not in trade, um, not from a trade standpoint, just like generally for you to know. All right? So that's how you sustain your maps. It's not complicated. Play the fucking game. Do all the content, right? Do all the content. If there's Alva, do Alva. Make sure that she's on, uh, we just, I just did the temple. But basically Alva, she's got rooms full of maps. Rooms with currency, rooms with, you know, uh, jewelry, with sacrificial chambers, armory, strong boxes, could, uh, could open up and get you some six links corrupted, can give you divination cards for six link, for example. I got these off of the armory. Um, I, got, I got some Dapper Prodigy divination cards. I got this, right, sacrificial uh, garb, six link. That's amazing, right? If I get it, I just need one more. This this can only drop from the temple, sixling sacrificial garb, right? It can roll, you know, uh, whatever armor evasion, energy shield evasion. This would be amazing for me uh, in SSF, uh, six link. So these drop off of this temple. Go uh, also, yeah, belly. I think I only need one more card for belly of the beast, right? Just one more card. I can go and farm the zone, or I can keep going to the temple. Hopefully, we get some. You know, these things they just kind of like drop when you do all the game content. All right, just do everything. Check out your uh, what's her name for prophecies. You know, just just keep on doing prophecies. Sometimes you'll get some nice stuff like jeweler's touch. How do you think I got this five link? I used jeweler's touch to get this low reef to a five link because I failed linking it after 1,750 fusing orbs. Oh my god. So yeah, do your temples 
always make sure that Alva is on high tier maps. If your Atlas is looking like mine, all right, or similar to mine, if you got some red tier maps, what I mean is, and somehow Alva spawns on a tier six, don't do the tier six zone. What you should do is just basically open the tier, like the Mud Geyser map or whatever it spawned on, just open it, and then Alva will despawn, and then keep on going. Don't don't even do the map. Just open it. <clears throat> to despawn Alva and then keep on doing your regular map, your general rotation. Kill your Shaper maps to spawn the Elder and then eventually Alva will start spawning on red tier maps because that's where you want her. You don't want her on some yellow tier because it will lower the level of the temple itself. And yeah, you try, try to make sure that the temple is like level 82, 83, tier 15, tier 16 because if it is that means uh, tier 16 tier 15 monsters can drop there and they will and that's how I actually got my recent three uh, tier 16 I gen I just did it right I just killed uber elder like the day before yesterday oh I guess no it was just yesterday I killed uber elder yeah it was yeah we got the freaking disintegrator um, so we killed uber elder when we when we did uber elder um, I decided okay that's enough I don't need to do uber elder anymore it's just not right now I want to get into juicier maps start building my map pool for the future characters because the league is just getting started and we're gonna make many many builds right so um, killed the world got that thing done and uh, unshaped or removed all the um, you know <clears throat> completion bonus right just completely remove these maps and then tier 16 tier 15 right tier 16 the only one that I have on my atlas is this one from the elder orb because that's what you do when you kill shaper you get the elder orb you get to choose a map on your atlas that will uh, become a tier 16 I chose it for the tier uh, 16 elder uh, peer like I said before there are plenty of other good choices depends what fits your needs research the maps a little bit play them on the normal version see if you got if you like the layout if you like the amount of monsters you have there all right and then uh, yeah um, tier 15 I removed as well how do you remove uh, this is very simple there are two recipes you need to know one is 20 chisels five regrets uh, one is three red sextants or yellow depends on the map that you want to remove and then or white you can also like there's never really a reason to do it but basically three sextants of the respective color and um, one scour orb will give you a master cartographer's seal that uncompletes any map on the atlas so instead of completing it, it uncompletes it you remove it from the possibility which means when I run my tier 16 uh, pier I can only drop other tier 16s that are not this there are no other tier 16 only pier and also tier 15 I can only drop my volcano because it's shaped to be tier 15 <coughs> so it's my only tier 15 I removed both of these and that guarantees I will have endless supply of these maps just like you saw on my flashback race I had like a pile of 30 um, it was moon temple that I shaped and underground sea I had like a pile of like 12 right and you know you owe it like 12 doesn't sound like a lot but you kill those maps and they add up and you drop some more and you always have maps to run and when if they run out you still got 30 tier 15s that can drop tier 16s so you run 10 of those all of a sudden you got a bunch of those you stack up on your sulfite you cap it up you go and do your sulfite you find a city all of a sudden you got like eight or seven or six or five additional tier 16s or whatever red tier 16 15s that you want to farm right your alva is finished all the incursions 12 incursions you go and you do the temple several maps drop over there um, so on so forth just continue doing all the content in the game don't skip on any league mechanic right you got your alva you got your einar Einar, by the way, is great. I found uh, lots and lots of stuff. A lot of people don't really know really how beasts work. Oh, shit. The, the, there's another recipe, right? So the second recipe is how to unshape, right? You can uncomplete with uh, three sextants of the respective color and one scour. Uh, um, unshaping uh, orb is five um, regrets and 20 chisels. A bit expensive. It hurts. But if you need to unshape something, if you changed your mind and you don't want to keep dropping your volcano, there's no other way to unshape it. 20 chisels, 5 regrets, and then you can unshape some, uh, you can unshape this map and shape some, something else. Or you can just keep all your shaping orbs over here. There's another thing. Don't shape your maps. 
Oh, that is super important. Can't believe I'm only getting into this now. Don't shape your maps. It's such a common mistake. People come to me and tell me, "Hey Moses, I'm what what tier what tier four maps do I need to? Sh why, why do you want to shape your tier four maps, man? What's gonna get out? What, like, what are you gonna get out of it? You don't need to shape a tier four map because what happens when you shape a tier four map? It becomes a tier ten. And when it becomes tier 10, it's being added to the potential drop pool of all tier 10 maps. And you're in a process right now of doing your tier 10 maps, because otherwise you wouldn't have asked me how to shape tier 4 to a tier 10. Because that's when you generally get these shaper orbs. So if you're in the process of opening up your atlas and shaping up and getting that tier 10, you don't want more tier 10 that can drop. You want the original natural tier 10s that are on the atlas so you can get your atlas completion bonus. Shaping a map that you already have the completion bonus is not going to increase this number, right? If you pick a tier 4 map uh, like um, excavation and decide to shape it for some reason, you could. But that's not going to increase this number and that's not going to make you drop more and higher tier maps. Okay, so never shape anything ever. You don't need to, unless you have a specific goal. All right, if you if you have a specific goal, by all means, shape. Great. That's what shapers are for. But if you don't have, just don't start tossing them on the atlas because that hinders your progress. Right? If all these shape tier one, tier one, tier two, tier three, all these maps are going to be shaped, that means we're going to have more potential drops of higher pool uh, of higher maps in the ma uh, of higher tier maps in the map pool and that is not good for us when we're trying to limit the potential pool to be able to cover every single one of the maps on the atlas i hope you get that point because it's really important all right it's really really important don't shape until un unless you have a strategy and if you do shape remember it's going to cost you five regrets 20 chisels to create that orb of unshaping that will then bring back a tier 15 map into a tier 10 tier 9 into a tier uh, 5 and so uh, tier 9 into a tier 4 or whatever all right so this is it guys that's the big secret okay don't fucking shape your atlas do every single thing a piece of content if you see a master spawn do the master if you see um if you see something do something say something if you see the uh, you know a master spawn go ahead and do the masters if you see uh every single one of them if you see a shaper stronghold go and do the shaper stronghold all right um 3 a.m is where well my time 3 a.m you better check your own time uh is when the uh, daily quest right the map objective daily quest resets what does that mean that means that we're going to have uh, all of our masters spawning on the atlas. You're going to see June, you're going to see Alva, you're going to see Zana, you're going to see Einar, and you're going to see Nico. Five masters. And they're all going to start spawning on the atlas all at the same time. For me, it's going to be 3 a.m. exactly. For you guys, whatever time zone you're uh, hanging out and at, um, and that's going to be the time zone for you. What does that mean? That means that couple minutes before 3 a.m. you're going to want to run your highest tier map why is that again um, these unfortunately are not some sort of like an average of the recent 20 maps that you did they are based they're going to spawn based on what is the recent map that you completed on the atlas right what's the last map boss you killed if your last map boss let's say a situation happened where you just did delve and you found this map Dorianis Machinarium great you killed the boss great you just did it great you really want to complete it but it's like five minutes to three and you forgot and you're going to go and you're going to kill this map right this is a tier six map when you finish it you get your map atlas completion bonus that's awesome but the game doesn't remember that you used to be doing tier 13, 11, 14, 15s and farming red tier maps to spawn a red tier elder. The game is not going to remember that. All the game is going to know is that you just did a tier 6 map. Alright, so Alva, Nico, Einar, Zana, um, June, they're all going to start spawning on tier 5 to tier 7, maybe a tier 8 map at the most. And that means that you're basically screwed because red tier maps spawn the best 
uh, results for bestiary, right? There are certain maps that there are certain monsters, certain beasts that simply won't spawn um, if you um, if they if they spawn on a white map, right? Uh, Sacawine vulture is a great example. I'm going to show you. I've been looking for one. Um, Sakavan Roa, Wretch, Cobra, and Shimmerel. So Sakawine, um, Sakawine Vulture is this guy. This guy m allows you to create a fully linked six socket rare. So basically it gives you a free rare six linked body armor. Right? Sakawine Vulture. If you have one, you can get a six linked body armor. That's kind of sick, right? But these only spawn on red maps. So if your Einar spawned on, on tier 6 because you just kind of had to do a unique Dorianis Machinarium and the daily reset is now, you know, happening, you're screwed, okay? Another thing that you want to know on the Atlas and the Masters is that right now my Nico spawned on Academy, but if I start doing my tier 16 peer, it's going to take him a little bit, but eventually Nico will move around to a higher tier map, tier 15, tier 16 on the Atlas. It doesn't need to be this, it could be one of these, right? This is why I wanted to have a certain pool of, of regular tier 16s because every once in a while they will spawn here. And at, when that happened, I still want to do the master, right? So I want to have a certain pool of regular tier 16s so that I could, it will happen rarely, but when it does happen, I want to be able to use, uh, you know, to have the actual map so I could farm the zone, so I could get Nico, so I could get Alva, or whatever happens there. Right? So, yeah, Nico will eventually move if I start farming, you know, higher tier maps, 14, 15, 16. But the daily quest, Nico will not move. Alright? If there's a daily reset of map objectives, all the masters are going to spawn. What will happen is that Nico and the rest of his friends are not going to move until you do that specific map. And that's going to be a bit sad. Alright, so um, there's a good piece of information for you. Um, bear in mind, 3 a.m. comes for me. A few minutes before, I just make sure that I want to do my highest tier map. So that, you know, master friends are going to spawn. They're going to spawn on higher tier maps as well. I believe I covered everything there is to know about map sustain and some other side uh, topics. Uh, this was big bombs of information to a lot of you, I'm sure. But hey, uh, that's the way I roll. I hope you guys learned something. Don't complain. I cannot sustain. I cannot sustain. Okay? I'm tired of that. There's really no reason that you cannot do what I do. Alright? There's no reason. There's no reason that you won't have what I have. Uh, in SSF, soul self found. No trade. Just picking up stuff from the ground, building an empire. There's no reason. The only reason that there is, is that you're simply not playing enough, okay? So, no more excuses, can't sustain my maps, volleying, chiseling, sextants. I don't do any of this. And intentionally, I did not do any of this because you don't need to, alright? Also, they added, the, the, like, in the, in the recent patches, like, three, four years ago, sustaining maps was, like, a serious problem. You know, the maps went all the way... That's a little bit of a history lesson. Maps, I think, went up to tier 12. I think there was a time in the video game where you didn't have more than tier 12 maps or tier 11 were like the highest tier maps. But you know how it is, power creep. Um, and, and back then, like, getting, I believe, I, I remember Shipyard, right? Shipyard was like considered to be an insane shipyard and um, the piety map, Shrine, were like high tier maps that were really hard to get. Uh, also, Courthouse, some of you may know, <laughs> probably not though, because yeah, if you knew then you wouldn't be listening to this video. But yeah, many many years ago, <laughs> uh, these these type of maps were really really rare, and getting maps was a big freaking deal. Like you literally had to farm tier nine maps to get tier eleven, tier ten, because you could not sustain the maps, right? And maps were like a big deal. Like when the map dropped, you'd be like, holy shit, a map, right? These days, dude, I got 1,500 maps here. 
that's BS. Like, I'm never gonna run out of my tier. Like, any any of the tier. I, I, I'll always have everything. Elder spawns here. No problem. I can do Elder. Elder spawn, wanna spawn here. He can spawn whatever he wants. I'm gonna be able to kill him. I got Uber Elder down. I can do everything in the video game right now. Right? So, we're far away from that point in time, thankfully, because, yeah, it was a bit of a drag. But we're in a situation where there's an abundance of maps, and on top of that, they added Horizon Orbs as a major, you know, currency drop. They added Zana to Atlas, allowing you, uh, obviously Zana was there before, but when you complete map at Zana, you complete the map on your Atlas. Like, it didn't used to be before, and they added higher chances of adjacent maps to drop, right? They added additional chances for bosses to drop maps. Right, and they they revamped, uh, reworked several bosses like Lava Lake, like uh, Belfry, like other boss fights, cemetery, that are now having more minions, more rare and magic monsters that will drop maps while you're fighting the boss, and then the drop will drop another 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 map. Like there were situations, courthouse map. There were situations where I dropped like five red tier maps off of the courthouse boss's room only, with the magic pack inside and the. All right, so don't don't get and I and I don't even use chisels, and I don't even val my maps and I, like you don't need to invest any currency. You just need to play more. That that's really all there is to it. All RNG will even out, and if I get consistent results in having thousands of maps, in a way that I never am able to play all these maps ever. There's always a surplus. How is that? that? I'm able to do it and you guys cannot. I simply play more than you. All right? When you're missing a map on your Atlas, buy it from Peary Trade. If you're playing SSF, tough. Just do higher tier maps and wait until lower pool f gets filled up and then you trade 3 to 1, 3 to 1, 3 to 1 until you get the right one. All right? That's basically I think everything I've been doing uh, that's basically all I have to share about that topic. Play the video game more. You'll have all the maps that you need. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on stream.